I'm Kerry Stinson, and my journey through life has been quite an adventure. For over 20 years, I played Barney the Dinosaur on tour and seven seasons of the hugely popular TV show, Barney and Friends. Now my journey is to bring together friends and guests from all over the entertainment world for inspiring and at times amusing behind the scenes conversation. I'm Kerry Stinson, and this is Purple Roads. Welcome to Purple Roads. My name is Kerry Stinson, and as always, I'm so thrilled you're here. This is such a cool episode. We haven't done one like this before, and I'm so thrilled about this. We have Jamichael Finley, played for the Texas Longhorns, played for the Green Bay Packers, and he's here today. Jermichael, how are you? Man, I'm amazing. Uh, like I say, just living one day at a time, and uh, man, taking my time doing it. Uh, Jermichael's also getting ready to have a podcast, so we've got that in common as well. Yeah, man, uh, it's called The Stand with Jake Finn, um, and we're talking more about the Longhorns, uh, the Packers, and college and foot, uh, NFL, et cetera, but it's going to be very, uh, it's going to be very uncut, it's going to be very real, and uh, if you like being real, check my show out, The Stand with Jake Finn. I love it, and I can't wait to do that. So, you're a Texas guy, Lufkin, right? Yeah, Lufkin. I was uh, born in Lufkin, but 10 miles down the road south, I was uh, raised in Dabal, Texas. Okay. Uh, Dabal uh, mascot uh, in, during my school, high school days was Dabal Lumberjack. So it goes to tell you I lived in the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up in the, in the Dallas area, and then I'm out in Keller now, out near uh, Fort uh, Worth. I love I love the Keller area, man. It's uh, man, it's piling on top of each other though. Uh, DFW is growing tremendously, man. It's it's amazing. It's it's amazing. You know, I know people that watch this show. We we always have people involved with kids, and you're wondering why do we have Jermichael on? It's because he works with kids. You have a program called Elevate You, which is so cool, and you you work work kids out and get them going and 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 mentor them. Yes, sir. Um, Man, the, the main reason why I got into Elevate You, I was training my kid. I have uh, several boys um, in, in my house, period, as my son. So me and, me and my oldest son, Caden Finley, was training one day. We'll just, we, I, I've been doing it his whole life, training him. And he's older now. When he's talking to me, he was like, Dad, you, you, you should start a company. And he said, Elevate. I was like, oh, man, we are Elevate now here. And then I went at my little twist on the Elevate You. Uh, and uh, so we took off that with that a year ago, and now it's just rolling like a fine old machine. And man, it's so awesome just to go back and give back to kids. It makes it makes my heart happy. Uh, it just makes my soul happy when I leave uh, dealing with kids because I know how much work and how much uh, effort I put into you know I mean, instilling the greatness into these kids. Well, that you know that is what we have in common because I learned it you know all the years with Barney what kids do and how they give back to you. It, it's so inspiring. It, it gets my endorphins uh, rolling because um, it gets my energy going. And I had a dad yesterday tell me during the course of workout, he was like, man, you got more energy than these kids out here. And I'm like, it, it, I don't know what it is. It's just when, when I'm trying to teach, especially teach the game that I love, that's football. I get very passionate about it, especially giving it back to, um, I, I call them sponges. So, they listen to everything you, 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 you say. So what kind of what do you do with them? I, you're working them out, but it also is it teaching them lessons? Yeah, so I, I'll, I'll grab, uh, especially the older kids, once they get the age of maybe uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I can talk to them about not only uh, uh, grasping towards football and just loving it, you have to have an uh, after plan of, of what you're going to do with your life, what, what you want to, uh, how you want to give back and, um, and things like that. And, and I just tell them kids, uh, man, it's a long, it's a long life to live. And there's so many things you can do during the course of this life that, that will impact so many people. Well, I mean, you've learned those lessons. You played big program, Texas, and, and then obviously the Green Bay Packers, Title Town. So I mean, you played in two huge organizations. What are some of those lessons you learned from that? Oh, man, um, it, it was so awesome, especially playing at Texas, uh, playing uh, there at, um, in Green Bay. It was two historical um, organizations, uh, uh, Texas being a program, 
And I, it, it really was a just rollover besides the weather change. Um, coming from Texas, 90 degree, under degree weather, going to Green Bay while playing negative 20s windshield. Um, and, and it was a, that, that was a culture shock. But at the end of the day, um, it's, it, Green Bay is nothing you can get uh, familiar with, especially the weather. You can't get adapted to weather. Um, so it, it was an experience, especially playing at, uh, in Lambeau Field. Boy, I tell you, that's a bucket list to go to. And um, uh, once again, it's no other, like I said, it's no other high you can find running out that tunnel. Now I, I found that high giving back to kids. That That is awesome. You know, I've, I've always wanted to know, what, I mean, the weather you're playing in Green Bay, getting hit in that is, it's got to sting. <laughs> got to sting. Yeah, it, uh, it stings, man. Uh, now uh, it's, it's crazy. It can be 90 degrees and we can be at the beach. I have became adapted to wearing long sleeves. All, like it's just, it's just crazy. Uh, and people were like, man, why you wear long sleeves? And I was like, man, for uh, seven years of this military life I live in the NFL, I had to wear some type of, like I, I, I couldn't wear long sleeves because of the the uh, the receivers couldn't because you had to catch the ball and tuck it. If you had sleeves on, this is way too slick to tuck the ball. So now I just wear sleeves every day. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like the pressure of playing for two teams for Texas? I mean, everyone knows Texas is a huge college football team. And then the Packers. I mean, you obviously yeah. have to live up to something. What is that like? Oh man, it, it was, it was different actually. Um, uh, Coming to Texas, I came from a small town, of course, in East Texas, that ball. Um, coming to there, I, I came from nothing. So uh, my game was all, all about playing for the fun. Totally different going to Green Bay where you expected to win. Not only you're going to win, you're expected by your fans. So a little bit more pressure comes with that. Uh, and, and like I said, it was night and day, but it was fun. My career, I had a great time in my career. So how do you teach kids that lesson of – taking it seriously, but also having fun, that balance. How do you teach them that? Um, I, my mind is working hard. Cause if you work really hard at your craft and you get it to the point where you know you worked hard in your, in your, in your mental aspect, you're going to go out and play and have fun. Cause you know, in an off season, I gave my all. Uh, I did everything I can with my trainer or myself. And now guess what? Go out and have fun, buddy. Because you, you're, you're, you're a fine old machine now. Um, you worked really hard in the offseason. Now, guess what? The game is your perk. That, that's, your time, that, that's, your time, that's your time to that's your time to shine and do your thing. How do you also teach them when it comes to the balance between the physical and, and up here? Using your smarts, right? Because when you're young, you just use the physical. When I first started doing Barney, it was all just physical. And then I got yep. smarter. <laughs> I was able to, you know, to learn so much. Yeah. How do you teach kids that? Oh, uh, man. So what's crazy is I went to a, um, it's called Pierce Sports Recovery. Pierce Sports Recovery, it's in Oxnard, California. Um, I went there after my career and I retrained my brain. I've done a lot of uh, neurofeedback, a lot of neuro things with my brain to try to uh, translate my brain over to slowing down from the NFL. So now I teach kids to, you know what I mean? Think slow. I mean, you know what I mean? Think slow to go fast. You know what I mean? Think real slow. Think about what you got to do. And then when it's time to do it, get to it. You know what I mean? I so I, I just train, you know what I mean? I just train kids to you know, work your hardest. Train your brain to, to, to knowing what you got to do. Actually think about before you go do it, think about how I'm going to do it um, and, and the strategy to it, um, especially on the field. If I want to go score two two touchdowns, sorry, go manifest it the night before. Think about it, dream about it, and uh, and then go out on the field and just do your thing and go have fun. And is that something they can can they grasp that of taking the hard work? And if they want that, they can get that. Absolutely. Uh, I, I like I trained my kid. It's a uh, muscle memory, and, and uh, he still struggle with it today. But once again, he's a kid. What about when it comes to teaching kids? healthy right eating healthy food taking care of their body you know when they're young you can do anything right but it really starts when they're when they're a kid yeah it is um i, I actually once you're a certain age 
you can eat whatever you want because your metabolism goes crazy. But once you get started getting to that teenager age and that age where things start counting, and especially in the day and age we live in now, uh, eating well and, and sleeping and staying off the the little the um, all the phones and the, the laptops and all that thing that 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 stuff helps not to be on it. So I, I just try to train my kids to do your best to stay away from them things. If you need it, if it's an emergency, get on it. But other than that, man, um, I try to stay away from the, the negative things and the ne- negative influence in this world. What have you learned from kids? <laughs> man, what I have learned from kids, kids, they look, especially being older, uh, being older now, uh, kids look at everything you do, especially if you're a role model, uh, especially if you, you, you have done some and been very, very um, successful. You, you, you got to watch your step and watch what you do, watch how you do it, watch how you talk. And uh, kids have made me uh, very accountable. You know what I mean? Uh, and and that, that's what makes me move today is yeah, I, I got to be a, a good role model for these kids that's, uh, that's out here today. So the podcast, let's talk about the podcast real quick. So, so where are you going to go with this? Are you having different guests on? Kind of where is this, yes. this show going to go? Uh, di- different guests. Uh, it's, it's a way to get my, uh, my opinion out because uh, everything's not factual. Everyone <laughs> has their opinion uh, because it's just a platform to get my opinion about, about the things that's going on in the world because I've been there. So I, I think, uh, I, I know, sorry, that um, I, I can give some good uh, takes and hot takes out. Um, so I'm going to have different guests. Uh, maybe yourself one time if you're available. Oh, I'd love uh, it. My man. And, and some of my uh, uh, fellow teammates, follow, former teammates and uh, coaches maybe. So, yeah, I have a ton of guests on. I, you know, I love it. it it's kind of why I started this because, you know, there's all kinds of stuff out on the Internet. But you really want to get the truth out there. And a lot of times Absolutely. people, they just don't get it. And so this way you can, you know, you can get it out there. And I love that. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. And that's, and that's my thing. Uh, is you start your, if you want to get something out, instead of going on the ESPNs, ESPNs awesome. Right. All the shows are awesome. But to start your, to get your, your, your the way you wanted to get it out, you have to start your own platform. And that's the way I'm going uh, with the spin with JFN. So and I'm interested in this. We have this in common. You know, I, I did. I played the role of Barney for 22 years and it was difficult to move into doing other things because I loved Absolutely. it so much physically. You know, I was in my 40s and it, there just wasn't able to do what I did with my, my 20s. How difficult right. it is to leave the NFL and, and go into other things. Um, it was very difficult. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat that at all. Uh, I went to a place that uh, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Think about what's my purpose, what I want to do, and how I want to do it, the things I teach my kids. Uh, and I went there for several, not several years, I went there for a year and a half, maybe, to a point where I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't grasp the thought of stop playing football because I've been playing football since, you know what I mean, since whatever. Right. And uh, it was it was very, very hard. And um, I needed a lot of nurturing, a lot of retraining, a lot of uh, being consistent with one thing. And uh, like I said, that's when Pure Sports Recovery came in. I went down there and done some recovery in in California and just uh, slowed down and got away. And and, uh, man, when I say that helped me tremendously uh, man, today is I know how to deal with adversity when it comes. Well, and it sounds like you, you're getting a lot of joy after, after out teaching these kids and inspiring these kids. Absolutely, man. It, it, you know what I mean? It gives me something to look forward to. Uh, it, it gives me something to, to actually, uh, uh, my purpose once again. And uh, it's one of those things where, you know what I mean? I, I got kids, so why not uh, pay it forward and give what I have learned and things I have been to back to these kids uh, in case they ever needed during the course of their life. Well, Jermichael, I can't thank you enough for popping on the show. We're going to follow and and we will promote Elevate You so people can check it out and spin with Jay Finn. I can't wait to check it out and good luck with everything. But thank you so much for coming on. 
Hey, anytime, man. Uh, and anytime you need me on the show, I got you. Uh, my, my day's busy, like I said, with five kids. So, yeah, let me know. And, uh, man, good, good luck with everything you have going on, too, also. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for your time. And um, yes, we'll talk to you soon. All right, my man. Have a good day. You, too. Thank you for yes, watching sir. Purple Roads. And remember to keep your eyes, ears, and your heart open, and you'll find your Purple Road. We'll see you next week.